The reason I'm making this video is that like five people in a row have contacted me with this issue. It's a bug in Betaflight that makes your video transmitter smart audio not work correctly. It is a bug, you're not doing anything wrong and there is a very simple fix. And I'm just making this video to get the word out there because I've sent like five emails referencing the fix and now I'm just like, well, gosh, I gotta make a video about it because I bet there's more people out there who are having this problem than just the ones who are emailing me. Here's how you know that you're having this problem. Your video transmitter is set up correctly. In fact, maybe it was working until you flashed Betaflight to the version that has this bug, but you're so sure everything is right. And yet, nevertheless, no matter what you do, if you go to the video transmitter tab, you cannot get device ready true. You've checked your wiring. You've checked your ports tab. You've got smart audio, all correct. It's a bug in Betaflight. In fact, it's a documented bug. Smart audio does not work after upgrade Betaflight 451 to 452. Now this bug specifically references the SpeedyBF 405. I'm here to tell you it is not just that flight controller. In fact, as far as I know, it's every flight controller. And I think it's also true in 451 and 452, but not 450. Doesn't matter, here is the fix. The fix is to reflash your flight controller. So before we do that, we're gonna go to the CLI tab and type diff all. And that's gonna be a dump of our whole flight controller configuration. And we're gonna hit save to file. And we're gonna save that to a file somewhere. Cause when we flash the flight controller, it's gonna wipe the configuration potentially. And we wanna be able to get it back. Then we're gonna go to update firmware. And we will choose whatever beta flight version we want to choose. Hold on, we'll auto detect the target or you can manually select your target. And then we'll choose our beta flight version. Oh, I see 453 exists. Maybe the bug is in 453 and 452, but not 451. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll pick the version of Betaflight we want to flash to, 45, whatever. And then in, yes, you have to enable expert mode. Sorry about that. Enable expert mode, choose your Betaflight version, and then in custom divines type, non -com does it need to be all caps? I'm not sure. Non-compliant underscore smart audio. Type non-compliant underscore smart audio, just like you see there. Select all your other options as preferred and then load firmware. It'll take a second to load because it's having to compile the firmware because this may be the first time that this has been done for this exactly exact flight controller. That non-compliant smart audio option means it has to recompile instead of just using the cloud build that it has already compiled previously. Um, the more people that do this, the more flight controllers will already have the build compiled for it. There we go, status, success, and then we flash firmware. All right, when this is done, if you connect to your flight controller, uh, the first thing you wanna do is reload your configuration. Go to the CLI, load from file, boom. I don't know what that nonsense is. Execute, great, and save. And then the way that you know this worked should be that if you go to the video transmitter tab, it says device ready true. Uh, mine says device ready false because it's literally just a flight controller I have on the desk. Uh, it's a way of demonstrating how to do this. But the other thing you can do is you go to the setup tab and here where it says firmware info, you click options and in options you should see use non-compliant smart audio as an option. Uh, that confirms that it's been flashed for that option. That's it, uh, by the way, if you did that and it still doesn't work, something else is wrong in your setup. Your wiring, your ports tab, I don't know. I can't speak to that. But if you've got a setup that used to work and or you're sure everything is right and it still doesn't work, if you're on Betaflight four, five, two or three for sure, maybe one, this is the issue. And if you're on some other version of Betaflight 450 or 4.6 slash 2025-12, then this doesn't apply at all. Happy flying.